Right then. Time for some more Final Fantasy 16. With zero sun. Because why not? Yeah, it still somehow looks really pretty. Uh, if I remember correctly, we've done all the side shit right now. Topped up on potions. Mastered the Titan block. We're good to go. Otto! Was wondering when you turn up. Hello, from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos, and the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, right. <sighs> Five. Fair. You knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Ooh. Thank you, Otto. Let's go see Joshua. I'd so like to know if he survived. Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you. Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. Sorry, forgot my drink. Maybe we can continue. I've encountered that thing several times. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were 
might uh, hazard a guess. I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind's not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. Is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry, inside you. He ate him. Yoshi style. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find the means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What are you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> All hands on deck, we go save Gav. Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide. But numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> That sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer? I would surely have been inclined to agree with you. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. He hasn't explained the, how we lived, but at the same time, he's uh, explained a couple of things. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. So many goddamn side quests. And a hunt. Nah, no, nah, no, literally, I've been live for eight minutes. He essentially just revealed the fact that he swallowed Ultima. And nobody knows why. Ultima's after Clive, so. Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. Fuck I need it, I know. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan's stew, right? Well. Despite the look of the thing, and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well... It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone! So if you don't want to be seen as playing favourites, I suggest you lend me a hand. But well, there's enough to do in the world. I've never been one to play favourites, Molly. And I would be only too happy. So. A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only yep. 
Turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. And Iran said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, that's a question for a Scot, kindly old fella. Fine, and if he does, you do. I'm seriously going cook the helping with the cooking again. What do you want? Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. Probably not. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared, which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. They're literally right behind me. I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils were... They were in the atrium when I... They're, they're right behind me? Or are they different kids? Different kids. Alright, let's speak to Harpocrates. Norseman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled Sandbrickwire delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. <sighs> now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern. They're dragon livers. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback. So we know where to look for our liver. Saint's bonnet in contemporary parlance. A herb which grows along. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone. So I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. Meaning that if I find one, best of luck and. Alright. Oh, I can do. I'll best grab the ones that are in here as well. It is cam free today. Isn't the, he in the middle of a war? Oh, no. Someone else. Rutherford. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? What am I gonna do? What are you doing? All right, Goose. You seem more. Discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble and she's. <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like. Said he'd heard some rotten rumors about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. 
Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She probably will. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? She would straight up kill me. Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, you let me know. Of course. Honestly, at this point, I don't know why we bother sending clothes to go fight the dominance. I'm pretty sure Karen would just bitch slap him. They're broken. Shocking. Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss Mididol said, The best way I see how some it worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. <laughs> well, then your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh. <laughs> About that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. So then. Then. Um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. Teach so let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Mididol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. Well, what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. Nope. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. 
which means something must hold the chains up in turn. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pants by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Yeah. All finished. Yes! We did it! Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Middle's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Mitterdoll and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> yeah, put the cog on. You hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, look. We never used the cog wheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? That was nice. You hear me? They crash into something and they won't. Oh, shut up. I heard the Emperor was impaled on his own. Oh, I suppose it's time to get berated by an old woman. Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then? Both in and out of the hideaway? Hmm, can't complain. Wait, what exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half the care, but here you are today raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. Uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I... I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. <laughs> I'll protect Goot. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumours were unfounded. And that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. Along with some other things that... 
made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me, you'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clyde? <laughs> I suppose it is. You wouldn't think the sun had just fucking disappeared. The big soft bastard. Would I be well? Did you solve it? Was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Well... Done a good job with a few, fair few of these side quests. I'd say all of them, because some of them are a bit fucking daft and not really relevant. Knowledge but hoarded is knowledge yeah. lost. I have fair compiled bit. some new entries. If you would like to see them, <laughs> if you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Oh, I've done all the ones here. <sighs> I suppose we best go see what the Moogles got. Let's go watch a Moogle wiggle around. Actually, first we'll get this out of the way. Then Moogle wiggle. Don't oh, worry, guys, I know the world's coming to an end, but I've got to go. Get something ready to cook. What is that? Ah, there's the back of walls. Safe with Tarba. Is that saying I can't fast travel? You son of a bitch. It gives me like 27 side quests to do and I can't do them. <sighs> yeah, 
cock tease. Oh, I suppose we are continuing the story then. Yeah, I do appreciate the story locking because to be honest I really did want to continue with the story straight off the bat but then the side quest appeared Broken dagger. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yoke is a fine. <gasps> I could do one of the side quests. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Ah, well, just do this and then we'll go around to the other side quest. Actually, also got the map. Let's tap all. I don't even know. Faster. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. All right. Okay, what the fuck was that? Just throwing laser beams around, okay. Oh, we won't be able to do this sort of stuff anyway, because we can... Actually, I might be able to, if we go further down that way. Oh no, that's a new side quest. God. Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. That's just rude. Joshua's got a fancy woman. Time to fight. There's the quest giver. <laughs> oh shit. You're injured. What happened? 
happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned. Every last one of There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. That's why I'm looking for the hunt. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand a chance. But we can't let those monsters. Okay, I'll kill them. He did. Rest well, now he soldier. is as well. It's a safe for this top of village. The camp was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Good. I got here in time. That chocobo. I can take a punishment. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. You're with the battalion. Dicky Man Chocolates. Yeah. I heard the fighting. Are the others dead? Taken care of. One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor. Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <laughs> oh, his legs fine. to send you those things you slew are no longer my brothers Tabor is safe thanks to you here you've earned it hey I see laser bad blood you seem familiar have we met killed your boss Oh, Sid, I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged! 
fine. If you insist. Mutation! state to fight and this should be easy for you come on kill me do we need the sins of your master you and i have no quarrel and i will not strike a man who cannot defend himself no <laughs> i won't be deceived lord kupka told us of your crimes you are an outlaw a murderer, not some... Some... Man... Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. That's fine. I'll kill you then. been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. First merchant. Yeah. Take a look at my wares. Anything else? Sell all my stuff. Nope. Ah, not bad. It's a deal. Ah, not bad. It's a deal. What is anything else for me? Oh, I feel like I fleshed a hundred skins today. Stay focused, will you? In we go. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You 
saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Ebo Dabadaba? The Black Galleon. And... Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Odin. Meanwhile. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you! That was dramatic. Eh, yeah, probably justified. Members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded. But I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> So you do not deny it. Go you picked a different one. And see our guests to the dungeons. Enough. You just kill everybody in the room with one slice. Worthy of salvation. You fucking did as well. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. Oh no. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. No. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. You leave me alone. Come, Muthos. No, oh, I'm a coming. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you.
So then, how long has Walu been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apolitry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. A figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia los delan tu isag ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Well, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. Well, it's plain she cares for you very. <gasps> Quick, do all the side quests. I should have accepted all the ones that were there. Fuck it, we'll accept them when we come back. The bandits may be moving. Shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentlemen of the town guard are as fat as bumps. Fuck! <laughs> Seven hours. Clive, listen! I've found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Well, go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. 
A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil? Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places. Sorry, all this my you. middle name. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. I don't want to send Torgo with him. to brave the viper's nest. Hello? Just you, is it? <laughs> I thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death? Or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Really? Leave now, and we can pretend this didn't happen. Sorry, Clive, no time to talk. Jesus Christ, Joshua. They're just... They're just standard people. Or in fucking... 
Mega Flare is awesome. It now. Kick you in the dick. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. Then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! Toggle bite him in the ass. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! <laughs> blood?! Goose, are you alright? He... He's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime. And I will not allow it to continue. Read the room, pal. Goose, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Yeah! Goose, no. Oh. Enough, all of you! Run, How did you? run, man, run. <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking, who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. <laughs> you, you bitch. Everything that happened, it was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. Goose, you... If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, eh? Wise words. Uh oh. And now is time to collect. No, I can't. No! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. 
but I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I've done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. So I lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crawled line dragging poor goots into this. Didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. <laughs> but something tells me the Wessex has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the end of the way. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Tira, Clive. Tira. Remind me never to cross you, Karen. She just gave the man's eye eye out and walked off. Like it was nothing. So the hunt is safe of here somewhere. So I'm not fussed about that. I'm going to pick up these two sword quests just in case they're anywhere. I might end up. I'll knock out the other side quest and then we'll. Uh... Who among you is bold enough to heed him? Is that blade for Carry on. Chance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Korava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though, I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels, the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labours. Oh, the what then? Hunt your Evis. Of course, you leave table. I eagerly await your safe. It's over there. I don't get up there. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crease or crack. You... Hello, old man. Finally. And no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home. I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my... Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs? I will climb stairs. And... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. 
Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about. The three of me, I'm here. Name I can't be Okay. I get it. He talks way too slow. <laughs> I hope I haven't got to remember these. No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. So it's these stones to Canada, and the rest of the boxes. Are there. Mm, not a scratch on them. Have you noticed the Elder has been copied? Golden Plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder. This St. Quarry's been hard to find since the skies turned. It has indeed. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. I should speak to the old scholar. Before I forget everything I've read. I already forgot. The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, oh, don't tease. Uh, let's start with the engraving to Oh shit. <laughs> the great Mughal Guardians. Damn it. All the time you need. Guardians of the Crystal. The first it was the first one. Labor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the Mother Crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges? The engraving to the north is next, I think. The wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past. And make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Something about farmers. Children of the Hunters. Now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing, and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal? Wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Still would have preferred the moguls. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. And nonetheless, one cannot help but too many stairs, perhaps. Ah, too many by far.
Oh yeah, let's go kill us something. Ambrosia! It's a wagon. Old For a worm at least. But it looks like there's still plenty of fight in him yet. Yeah, the spring in Dunbury. This thing reeks. Here you go. Here's your heart. You might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for and more. He stabs you in the shin. He was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my I don't plan on making a habit of this. Very well. Though I believe do not allow me to keep you from I'm a pretty decent hunter, all things considered. Not the biggest dragon I've had to fight. Where to next? I'm going to speak to this guy. Thunder Aaron Boy Morlock. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, Martha's doing well for real. I'm Arthur. They seem bent on driving me from my inn. But if they want me out, they're gonna have to try hard. Martha's got a big heart. It's a pity there's so many who are happy to take advantage of it. Hey, who am I speaking to? Maybe upstairs, innit? My lord, Marquis, is that you? There you go. It is you. Then you received my letter. So, manservant. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. 
I am here at Martha's rest, at the behest of your lord uncle. Tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt. And without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate, and is determined to see it set in motion. Why do all the old men speak so slowly? Like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the Seven High Houses. Alas... Alas... I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet you will need to find them. I'll need to know where they... One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other, the old Imperial. That doesn't of course, he's sending me to two Lord. different fucking areas. <sighs> I was literally just here. Fucking Egypt. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Let's hope someone here has seen something. Mummy? The gentleman of the town guard. Someone's got himself in trouble. That looks like a man. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please, these men are trying to rob me. I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then? <laughs> if you kindly pay the coin he owes us, you can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. I haven't drew it yet. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. <laughs> Yeah, they did. <laughs> I'd expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. But I arrived in Dunhamill several days ago, but when I called upon the cap, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more. And his men... Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and 
hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. And it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosario. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. You won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's, if he was... On to the next. This is in the same area as the other dog quest. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. Ooh. Fine. What happened here? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward... All right. Found a note you heard... I'll go kill them. It'd be my pleasure. Just couldn't resist, could they? Oi, dickheads! This one's ours, pretty boy. Thank you for saying I'm pretty. Ready for the follow up. Ow. Oh, come on. Sixty one K. Then that might be my new record. Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveller. Nice hat. This looks to be all of I thought I told you to make for the veil. Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. 
The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are a few hands left to work. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, if you are to continue what you first need to seek the attempt. I, I shall return to Northreach, but allow me to thank you first. Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a Vistolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. I should go and tell Rutherford that he's... Oh yeah, well. We have another errand to run. Pick flowers and kill a dragon. Oh, why am There were ghosts at the gate, not the day. You needn't fret. Ready, girl? Run like the wind. Onwards. I'ma kick it. I'ma kick it. Kick. Rockerty said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Be easy enough to spot. I think I may have got my formula down now. <laughs> That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. I think that's everything. Let's go quick. Could we hand this one in or go hand the others in? I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. 
And we must work as it is mine. Mission complete. Smooth log butler. Seems the hideaway is lost it. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wine and liver. And uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern and livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. At least that looks more... That, that was a chicken nugget. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He is good as best. She just invented chicken nuggets. <laughs> so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? Well, that was chicken nuggets. <coughs> Think she just killed a man? So, not fit for consumption, then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force. A force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women? To procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith. I'll give it some thought. Oh dear. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. 
<laughs> Don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. I suppose I'll go take one last look at the board just to make sure that uh, it is where I'm thinking it is. First. What will it be today? What do you tell me? How may I help you today? One must understand one's place in the world. Hector. There's the pack. Save for Tabor. Yeah, it's where we need to go for the main quest, so. Cyril, how fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill, charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. Set the phoenix there. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further, no, your grace. Canva there. We'll talk about this later. Joshua's got his own crew. Cyril seemed very. Uh... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. The free cities and a sea. This way. Give it all around this corner. Are you sure this is the right way? I know it's not. But the 
better Moogle asks than we do. Oh, fellas. Nice and easy. Shouldn't have messed with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? Doggo will always be the leader of the pack. Good girl. Let's go see if we can save mid and have a fight with bloody Odin. I honestly wasn't expecting Odin to be the last one. Then let us be rid of them. Okay, I'll fight him. Thanks, girl. a lot of smoke. The free men are still holding their own then. 
Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse in the, boat? In the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. I will murder everybody to keep Gav safe. So what? Hold that thought. Side quests. <laughs> What's happened? The guards at the gate are moving. We got the relic. We're going to do this. What do you want? Clive, your time. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talent. So does what everybody else. Why your fearlessness? And your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the... But the army, too, is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means it has been looking... And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these... Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more. So where does my skill with them? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, so we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see... And we believe we have found one. The place was abandoned a long time ago. But when the men moved out... The and so... Alright. I, so I, so I will go murder everybody. Getting very antsy. I want to go sure. save Gav. Fine. Everybody dies. I swear to Christ. Parry a bird. I think 
That's the last of them. I think. Here we teleport back. Selling the mad quiet. Those are our terms. I, I shall. Thank you. She don't look happy. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. Kind of in a I rush. Go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't. She'll only get up. I'll explain everything. All right. Eloise. I just got back from Cashlock. Thank you, Clive. Here. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish this. You, job. Miss Sausage. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations. We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with, but we shall emerge victorious. Well. I'm not sure I do. A lot of these side quests seem to be setting up for the next set of side quests. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of... Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their... And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't. I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds, and she must be freed from her. You're a good man, Vic. I have always been grateful, and I want to repay the fate. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, these bearers are... That's a job. Well then. Lost wing. Oh, we're finally going to get to see the end of this war. For about eight hours ago. Apparently, he's still taking him to a storehouse. You know what you have to do. Oh, well, Blake. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vulture is circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your pre- Thank you. I appreciate his revenge. It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for. But what of Lostwing? I built Lostwing to achieve the same. Once it is done, the village- My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, but- there are those among us who can. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, will you take them to your hideaway? But I will. 
Thank you. The people I speak of have withdrawn. Understood. Then the last of my and make. Okay. Guess we're not joining the war. We're saving people. Everyone, Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it were. We owe him our lives. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. But we get to see just. I hope so too. Oi! Wow. You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck. What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster! Fucking monster! That thing. If I don't get the message, they're all gonna fucking... Sid, don't worry about us. You've got to catch up. We can't let Quinton... All right. Where is this manor? It's way over to the east. Promise us, Sid. I'll get him. Fucking hell, he's well out of the way, isn't he? Ready, girl? Faster! Look. No. Don't tell me we're too late. Oh, damn. Must be one hell of a guard dog. Quinton, are you all right? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died. That's not a dog. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. That is no mere guard dog. No. Just a rabid beast that needs to be put down.
Ow. Hey. That kitty. If only we'd arrived earlier. Is it over? This is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear. Just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans. Building a haven in Lostwing. Freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice. My faithful comrades. All those lives lost. Quinton. Master Quinton! You. You're alive. And so are you. It's Lost Wing. What? What did? Oh shit. Lost wing. My lost wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! <laughs> You're gonna turn. But it's not going to last long in there. Then we finish this quickly. Wins in your mad bastard. I was only gone for a minute. Uses his fucking arms, doesn't he? I need to get back to Quentin. Quentin, Quentin, look at me. Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Mad bastard. Well, 
Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinn. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, haven't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we... Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't, so long as you remain to guide them. But why? Why would anyone... Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah, and all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was, and as long as we're still here, it is, too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. Bit close to the flood, isn't he? A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please. I am no Quinton, Wilson. After all, we are a family. Hey. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never... But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage, if you don't mind waiting... I look forward to it. Hey. Right, see Martha's got something for us. I believe I cleared all the quests and immediately the there was more. Seems to be wrapping up all the uh, side places. Ah, Clive, just the man I was hoping to see. Go on then. Why is that? Remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked? Yes. Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. We ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for them to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on that keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it isn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. It's no burden. 
Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool? It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den, and they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. Of course I can. Back to Eastpool, then. Not just yet. Let's hear Wade's plan first. So, Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right, though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be calling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. The Akashic are the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. We shall see you there. And may victory await our coming. And I am 99% sure we will win. Where am I going? Oh, I. Evening. Okay, now. <laughs> Ooh, a flan. Two scoops.
Team two scoops. Any more surprises? I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. Where the fuck were you? We were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for a Kashik. We were. Put down more than a few on the road. Ah. Then arrived just in time to see you slay that whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsafe. Of course. I'll send orders. Leave it with me. Some time later. Home. <laughs> Without masters. No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them, and not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy, especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. Of course. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safe if you need anything more. And we will. Eastpool lives again. Yeah. There you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. What did I do? All this about some shape shifting nightmare showing up. Flan. On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is you did it, and now we can build our new village. I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. It's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. It's the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. I wanted to. Hey. Oh, uh, I'm a check summer. What's the chances that isn't something on the board? Of a fucking Moogle. I've got something in my chambers. Need to get rid of all the markers. You gotta annoy me. Oh, I'm, I've come to the conclusion now that the Moogle is literally only here to try and kill me in many ways as possibly possible. Do you see the pair that got clawed into time? Moogles are evil deep down. Ones in Final Fantasy VII Remake spawn Tomberries. Backed up the fat Jokuba. My 
my lord Marquis, I... I heard about Eastpool, that some of my fellow guardians are to build a new home there, both for themselves and for Madame Martha's bearers. It's true. The village is to be rebuilt. I have many fond memories. When I was a child, we would visit my aunt and uncle often. They would lavish attention upon me as if I were the son they never had. I went to see Aunt Hannah after my uncle. Pretty sure of her clip somewhere. <laughs> Not nearly as often as I should have. Oscar, I'd like you to assist Sir Wade in the rebuilding efforts. But, but my lord, uh, my training is not yet complete. I, I couldn't possibly. I warned you I might not be the easiest of masters. But I'm not as hard-hearted as that. Go. Be with your aunt. Rebuild her home. It's what she would have wanted. Yes, my lord. Thank you. My lord. I'm sure I had a video somewhere. I'll find it. One of the days. Oh no days, I'll have to replay it at some point. <laughs> Before rebirth comes up. Did you see that? What a wonderful I pity those in the villages. How may I help you today, Clive? Is everything we've received and everything promised? You earned this. Hey. All done? Let's see what that does then, shall I? I've been a pro I mean Ah, I'm bored. What evils have you got in store for me now? Oh, that's an S. I oh, know it's not. The man in black? Yeah, that's probably not the last thing to take. Swing. She needs where? It's not going to be in the town, considering the flood. This way, maybe. No, it's going to be down in the cell of it. I've got a feeling. Now, oh, how does he get down there?
Idiot. Oh. Oh. He's one of those. Oh, I had the wrong thing on. Focus up then, shall we? Seems angry. Ooh, box. That's better. Alright then, can we continue with the main quest now? Yes. Let's go get Gav. Fuck's sake. Sounds like thunder. You're late. 
<laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think he is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Happy family reunion. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Does that mean I get to take Gav? And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> what a doer. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Well then, even for all. All right, Torgal. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Oh, they did.
Gotcha. Let's jump toggle. You going to go? Get him! Get him! <laughs> what happened to the royal army? There's nothing but monsters here. Oh, he did. Ow. Oh, shit. You big fuck. Open for the big boss fight. That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy.
Oh, he big. Ow. Oh, yeah, he can teleport. I forgot about that. That's a big laser beam. Fuck. Where the city's leaders gather, there may still be survivors in sight. That's better. Oh, I'm a Troy Summer. Wasn't too keen on the sound of it, but I haven't been using the Titan block. Where are they? These creatures. Does Ultimus reach extend this far? Oh, this takes a long fucking time. Fear my wings! That was definitely worth it then. <laughs> to an extent. It's uh, Bahamut's powers. Where is your master? What does he want? It takes a little bit too long to fucking launch. I would expect no less from you, Mirthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? 
And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done, as you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the Lane of House Harbard. And you will yield. Okay then. Well, yes. Ow. I know we shared Titan's block on now.
Damn it. Didn't dodge that one. It was actually a really fun fight. Wasn't too difficult though. Level 41! The vessel is strong. Hello. You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Oh, Barnabas is here. Man just loads the building into. That's what we're up against. Leaving so soon, Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walu. Get back. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. 
to surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. Torgo's got the blade. <laughs> Means some time later, what happened to Jill? Will he be alright? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. Why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him. If it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. Putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. Why? You're awake, my boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help, and the world won't. 
could save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who told me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the royalists? You've all those things you find out, Jill's still there. A lot of them, along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. As long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. Intense power levels now. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But He's going to use Jill to get us there. Well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Well, back to the hideaway we go. I think we're getting towards end game now. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. If it's knowledge you seek, you can find it. Let me tell you a story, Clive. Ooh, stories on the camera. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there was a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me, I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition, I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest jam in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. What an impression. years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. Not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than gill. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. 
or you'll have me to answer to. We are definitely reaching in game. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. The rune blade. It's better I'll be here. Rubbing me blind, you know. It better I'll be here. Finished, are you? Still alive, are you? I reckon I can find it by you. I'll be thankful you got that much. Just stop the whole potion, actually. It'd better all be here. Is that all? Trouble with your gear, or so will it be? I was expecting everybody to start telling me the tales. Should last you a good while. No scratches, right? Shit, I think I just equipped the wrong thing. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Should do ya. Yeah. My best work, it'll do. Anything else? I think I've just crafted a bunch of fucking blades without seeing. Oops. Oh, I am gonna sort this back. It's not gonna help in a boss fight. Hoarded is feel like I have to fight with Odin. We may get a chance to free roam again afterwards, but then it'll be awesome. So we're getting in the latter half of the game, definitely. Again, what is it that you wish to learn? One must understand one's place in the world. What demons have you summoned for me now? There's a chocobo. That is a chocobo. Sickle. Oh, 
thinking we go kill this, then I'll probably call it. So then tomorrow, we dive straight into Odin. Else, I think the Odin bit's going to take a couple of hours, so I prefer not to uh, be up all night, considering I have work. Oh no. Feels weird not having gel with me. Maybe down there, maybe. Shut up. Oh god, yeah. Sorry. No mistakes. It's not down here then. Was he in that little gap and I just didn't see him? So did you say you're going Tuesday and Wednesday? Goblins. Oh, there it is. Looks like a bird. It's Polly, reborn. Ah, so I'll be seeing you Wednesday then. Did that talk about just some media? Oh, 
It doesn't have a stun meter. Just realised. Kick me. What form of evil is this? Those are the Moogles just evil. I'm gonna get killed by a fucking joke about. What is going on? Kill it! Kill it now! To be fair, I'll probably, depending on how long the, the next two bits are going to go, I don't think I'll finish it till Wednesday. It's just baffling to think. There was nothing I could do. I am super sad. I blame the Moogle. And only the Moogle for what just took place. Or think. Oh, okay, that was an A. Yeah, that gave me more trouble than the dr big ass dragon did. Granted, the big ass dragon killed me. But I'd still say that Chocobo was up there. It's giving me trouble. Cole said it was an army of attacking. Oh, that's fucking arrow, eh, boss? Oh, right then. Leave it on that cliffhanger for now. Whew. I really don't want to stop playing. But I have to. So, thanks for watching. We're back tomorrow. So since my plan is once we finally finish the game, I will probably take a break from streaming just for a little bit. But then I am going to come back. Because there is a new game plus, which is twice as hard, <laughs> apparently. So.